Thank you very much for joining me, I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for taking the time to subscribe to this channel. All right, these are the two spots we're watching. This in the Western Caribbean, in this area here in the Atlantic, that is gonna get closer as we work our way into the next few days. So I wanna highlight uh, both of these areas, uh, what I'm expecting as far as rain and the chances of development out of these, plus that big blocker that is sitting up to the north across the US. So a uh, couple areas to uh, cover. Now let's start with this spot here that is approaching the northeastern Caribbean. As of now, it is nothing, it's nothing crazy. It's kind of a kind of a blob of rain out there. The European model and the American model do not have this becoming a named system. The Canadian model does have this becoming a, a tropical depression. So that's one step below a tropical storm saying, hey, this is going to be some sort of classified system. And the icon does eventually have this still becoming a tropical storm. So yes, there's still the chance this does develop gradually. But as of now, I'm not seeing anything that is too terribly strong with this area and I want to show you why as we uh, work forward. Now, let's get a zoomed in look here and what we're seeing specifically for the Northeastern Caribbean to try to kind of keep things island by island. So here we are in Dominica, uh, you get over toward uh, Stacia, Ceiba, British and US Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico right here, Anguilla, St. Martin, Antigua, Barbuda. Same thing as I showed you yesterday on track, and that is my goal uh, to be very consistent with the forecast to give you lead time on everything. At least the next few days, I don't see this becoming a named system. So this disturbance will be very close to us on Friday. That's when we'll see a better chance of rain. Today it's kind of stuck in dry air, it gets closer to uh, tomorrow, and then on Friday we start to get some of the extra rain on this, and by Saturday this will be close to Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. Most likely still not as a named system, but an area of rain we're watching. Now, we're going to stay in monitor mode, and, uh, and I mentioned this, that we're not in action mode, and that is very important because I want to keep anxiety uh, with everything through the hurricane season and in check. This is just a spot we're watching together, right? I'm on top of it. If it were to develop a little bit further quicker, I would let you know right away. But monitor mode, which means we're just kind of spreading the word, hey, there's an area we're watching out there and it will bring us a better chance of some rain. Now, the computer models are more interesting today. What I mean by that is they're still showing this moving off to the west northwest, but some of the computer models don't show a whole lot. They actually end before this even gets to the Caribbean because some of those computer models are saying this is not going to be a system at all to even uh, watch. So the, they've even backed off further on development, which is really good. I'm hoping to get rain out of this for some of us because we need to get some rain in some spots, but we definitely don't need a named system. And you see going out in time, those same computer models, uh, the American model, for example, really just has this area kind of fall apart. Most of the computer models have this area not a whole lot two days from now. A couple want to still make it a tropical storm, and that's why I mentioned there is still that chance of some development. So let me start here, and then I'll get into the second area, and we'll get into that block. So here we are in Puerto Rico, uh, Guadalupe, Antigua, Barbuda, uh, right here. This is by tomorrow afternoon. So here's that area of rain. This is the American model, which is pretty similar to the other models. I'll show you the European in just a second. But you see some of the increased rain. So St. Kitts and Nevis, we could actually use some rain. I'm hoping we get some out of this on Friday. This is Friday morning into Friday afternoon. Now it's not a guarantee we get rain. The rain chance is going to be higher clearly on Friday for us in the Northeastern Caribbean and Northern Caribbean. Uh, but it, it's it's going to be scattered kind of about, scattered to widespread rain. Then on Saturday, here's Puerto Rico. The heaviest rain would be just to the north, then moving back toward the Dominican Republic on Sunday. Sunday, a better chance of rain. Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Turks and Caicos, and Southern Bahamas. In Southern Bahamas and Cuba, of course, down the road, if this were to develop some, I'd be on top of it for you and be able to let you know again what we could expect. But the American model showing some of the extra rain, but not necessarily showing the development. Now, here's the European model. Uh, so we get a look here. So here's Cuba, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Jamaica. We've had some scattered areas of rain and storms the last few days. It is going to stay active for us. Belize eventually will get a lot of rain. So this is the system I was just tracking there. And now we expand it out to show you two things. Here's that other area in the Western Caribbean in the big blocker, high pressure and control with a big fall front throughout much of the Southeast US. There's even some snow over toward parts of Tennessee where Helene impacted just weeks ago. Now this is on Friday, so jumping ahead and you see a couple things here. That front is still in place here. Here's that extra rain in the Northeastern Caribbean. Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, St. Lucia, scattered showers and storms, but most of that energy is all up to the north. High pressure, the blocker. So this area here, even if it does develop, this spot here in the Western Caribbean, that is gonna swing back toward us as expected 
in Central America and give us a higher chance of some rain, especially as we get into the weekend. So this is Friday. There's one spot. Here's the other spot. Neither showing significant signs of development, uh, which is which is wonderful. Keep an eye on these spins up toward Bermuda with those fronts coming off the uh, U.S. Now, as we go forward into the weekend, this here is on Sunday. And you see the green, which is the rain on the map. Uh, you see these areas of rain just kind of sliding on through the Bay of Campeche. Higher chance of rain as we work our way into this weekend. That's all the moisture here getting pulled away. Now, the European model is grabbing this moisture in the northeastern Caribbean and just kind of mixing it in with a front. So I'm going to keep an eye on us in Cuba, uh, parts of the southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos to see if anything does develop. But as of now, the European model is not showing that, but it is showing that, hey, there's going to be some extra moisture around, may kind of get caught up in the front, uh, may kind of start to move away if the front takes it, or it'll just kind of uh, fizzle out, but it's not showing a lot of development. And here's why, and this is what I'm watching. This here is on Saturday. This is the wind shear, which is our friend of the hurricane season. Now, uh, if this changes, I'll let you know. But as it stands now, here's that area on Saturday. Here's Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti. Here's that little spin. The wind shear is right in through here in the Bahamas. Those are very strong winds way above our heads that would rip off a developing system. So it does have a slight chance to develop, but as this area continues to move west, it is going to run right into that wind shear. So chance of some development, but then the wind shear would be helpful. And then watching this broad spin over here, it's still a wait and see on kind of what would develop here near Central America, if anything develops at all. But for us in Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, uh, Providencia, San Andres, we're going to have a higher chance of rain. But once again, as this area marches its way off toward the west, there's a lot of wind shear as well. Very hostile environment above our heads as we get deeper into the uh, fall season. So now we swing back to this area. Here's Belize, get over toward the Yucatan, watching Cancun, Cozumel, back toward Merida, uh, Campeche. Uh, this area, regardless of development, is going to work into Central America, especially by this uh, weekend. European model, American model, Canadian model do not have this becoming a named storm now. The American model, that was the one that was really aggressive, trying to make this a hurricane days ago. But I mentioned uh, several days ago that I was leaning more to the European model, and that is what has worked out. I look at the models and the environment, and the environment was matching more with the European model, and that's why as a forecaster, uh, I was going with that. The ICON model still does have this try to develop into either tropical depression or tropical storm. There is a slight chance, but as it moves to the west, it's going to run into land. So then that will prevent some uh, further development. So uh, showing you that here. So I, I covered this right first. You can still keep an eye on that. Uh, here we are in the Bahamas, still unsettled with the front moving by. Windy today with scattered showers and storms. Got you covered in the Bahamas. But here's that rain anywhere from Panama, Costa Rica, back through Jamaica, Cuba, Cayman Islands, watching out for some of the extra rain. And there's that blocker, that fall front that has moved in high pressure and control back behind it and that is a blocker so it's better news for the u.s as a whole so as we go forward into thursday you see all of that rain it starts to kind of inch its way off to the west so monitoring those river crossings very carefully and that chance of some mudslides. It's not going to be for all of us, but we're going to watch out for that very carefully. Rain will increase Guatemala and El Salvador too as we get deeper into the weekend. Even Cuba with that front mixing in, this front's going to pull up some of the rain to parts of Cuba and the Cayman Islands, but the bulk of the moisture, most of the moisture will be sliding off toward the west, and then this area here as well sliding off to the west, and it should get tied into the front. So this here is on Friday, and you see that extra rain for Belize, Honduras. The brighter colors tell me we're going to get some tropical downpours, and that's why flooding is of high risk regardless of development. We don't need a name system to have some flooding issues. Look at all that rain by Saturday right in through here as this area really works its way into Central America. So Saturday, highest chance of rain, but Jamaica, Cayman Islands, this area will be moving away. Here's that spot there, just getting mixed into the front right there. This is on Sunday, and there you see on Sunday that rain working its way back toward uh, the Yucatan of Mexico and back toward Mexico. And then even going out in time further as we work our way into Monday, you see uh, the rain starts to lessen some here, but as we work our way near the Bahamas, some of this rain may eventually get pulled up toward Bermuda. So watching that on the bigger picture, and you see everything tied together here with the wave heights, meters, the key here, and feet on your screen. Obviously with the front, everything's really choppier this time of year. Atlantic waters, Gulf of Mexico, even back through the uh, Caribbean, Western Caribbean with this little area developing. But with these fronts moving by, the Atlantic water is kind of rough. This is as we work our way into Saturday. So this is Saturday and going deeper into the weekend. This here is on Sunday. Choppy conditions right across the Gulf of Mexico and of course across the Atlantic water. So no name system in sight as of now. Just watch 
watching the two areas. So it's been, it, the season's been interesting. We haven't had a million named storms, but the problem is the named storms we've had have really hit land. The first five did actually uh, hit land. And then of course, uh, Helene, uh, and then you get down toward a uh, Milton. It has been such a terrible season uh, with some big destructive hurricanes. As we know, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, uh, Texas, parts of Texas, we got hit hard. And then of course, uh, Florida up toward the, uh, so many spots, Carolinas, uh, Georgia, try not to leave anyone out. We uh, we know how bad it's been of a season, but the next name would be Nadine Oscar after that. But these two spots I'm watching right now, not seeing them as named systems. Now I mentioned Bermuda. We have these fronts that slide off over toward the Bahamas, Bermuda, Atlantic region of Canada. Most of the action stays to the south, but as these fronts move off, of course, the higher seas, chances of rain every now and then. And we'll just see that moisture near the Caribbean. We'll see if it kind of swings up toward Bermuda as we get down the road. Of course, with these fronts moving by, that colder weather has moved in with some of the uh, fall conditions. Now, as far as the rain totals go with that front, see this white and black shading showing up, even some red. That's four to six inches of rain or higher, or 100 millimeters to 150 millimeters of rain for a three-day total. Near the Cayman Islands, Cuba, right up through parts of the Bahamas, especially central sections of the Bahamas. And then as we get toward Jamaica, I'll just be waiting to see how much moisture finds us as we go over the next few days. Very unsettled. Thank you for leaving the comments. Keep me posted. Scattered areas of rain, parts of Haiti, Dominican Republic. And here's that batch of rain that will really be working closer on Friday. And as I mentioned, it's not a guarantee we get rain. I'm going to show you the higher rain chance as a whole in the Northeastern Caribbean, but it's not a 100% chance. And then spotty showers. Barbados has been a good sample of what we've been dealing with in parts of the Southeastern Caribbean. Some spots have been dry. Others have been seeing some of those on and off showers the last few days. Same thing, same fence to the Grenadines. Rain chance for us in Trinidad and Tobago. That has gone down. Hit or miss Venezuela, Guyana, and Suriname. But here are these higher totals starting to work in. And that's why I mentioned the mud slide potential, watching for even some isolated flooding, Yucatan and Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, but especially down the road, especially on Saturday, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, we're going to have some totals over 150 millimeters of rain, as high as 200 millimeters of rain. So we're looking at six to eight to even nine inches of some rain. Mexico City to the north, not as much. Chance of a couple showers here and there. So the rain chance stays elevated in Jamaica, not all day. Let me know your location and what you have or don't have as we go throughout the day. Same thing in the Cayman Islands, see our rain chance bumping up to 70% by Friday. Just a 30% chance Trinidad and Tobago the next few days. Our rain chance has gone down. Barbados still looking out for some of that unsettled weather around and about a 40% chance the next three days. In St. Lucia, Grenada, 30% chance tomorrow. And again on Friday in St. Vincent, the Grenadines, a 30 to 40% chance of a passing shower. Same thing as we work our way into Martinique. Rain chance uh, not super high the next few days. Dominica, 20 to 30% chance, 20 to 30 30% chance as well in Guadalupe through Friday. Now, as we get toward Antigua and Barbuda, the rain chance will increase on Friday, but it's not a guarantee, not a 100% chance, but I've raised it to a 60% chance with that tropical disturbance nearby. Same thing for St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, and the same thing for Anguilla and St. Bart. Slightly better chance Friday, we're looking at about a 70% chance. Could even get a couple showers around as we get into tomorrow night and Friday morning. So St. Martin, Saban, and Stacia, rain chance were up to 60% on Friday and about a 50% chance in Puerto Rico on Friday. Better chance as we get into the upcoming weekend. 60% chance on Friday, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, especially British Virgin Islands. More to the north, that's where we have the better chance of getting some rain. Bahamas, we have been unsettled. I was covering that, of course. 20 to 30% chance Turks and Caicos. 20 to 30% chance with a little bump on Friday in the Dominican Republic and about a 20% chance the next couple days in Haiti. Rain chance as we work around to Belize does inch up with this moisture in the Western Caribbean moving in. So our rain chance is going to start to go up in Belize. Aruba, we've had some passing showers the last few days. Rain chance about 30% today, a 20% chance tomorrow. We do that again in Curacao over toward Bonaire. Keep me posted in the ABC Islands. Rain chance stays on the small side of Guyana and holding at about an even 20% chance the next three days in Suriname. Scattered areas Areas of rain across Cuba with that front pressing by. We have some of the rain. Costa Rica, Panama, the elevated chance. Thank you for the comments. Uh, as we work our way into Nicaragua, I am concerned about the flooding. I mentioned the higher totals, especially tomorrow. And then in through the weekend, Friday and Saturday, uh, parts of Costa Rica, Panama, Nicaragua, Honduras, that rain chance is going to be higher. Watching out for the flooding, giving you a heads up, watching our Colombian islands offshore as well. Watching over toward uh, Roatan for that chance of uh, some heavier rain nearby. Guatemala and 
El Salvador. Some of that will be working in. Rain chance about 20% in uh, Mexico City. And as we work our way to the Yucatan, the rain chance is going to bump up too. Uh, over toward even Merida and then over toward the east side, Cancun and Cozumel. Northern Colombia about a 50% chance. 30 to 40% chance in northern Venezuela. And as we get into Bermuda, watching the fronts moving by, you see that rain chance will be higher tomorrow, up to a 60% chance. So the tropical disturbance getting close to us in the northeastern Caribbean, watching out for any signs of development, not seeing that now, but that is what I'm watching. The western Caribbean, we have that rain nearby, near Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Cuba, and then swinging back towards Central America. Flooding is going to be a higher threat, especially Friday and Saturday, working our way into Central America. So thank you for spreading the word about this information in the two areas we are watching. I hope you're doing well and have a good rest of your day.